All right, so what I'm going to do now is for a viewer who wanted to know how to get a shared cockpit session going. Uh, the hard part of shared cockpit is multiplayer. Once you can figure out how to get multiplayer going, that is your port forwarding, setting up the shared cockpit is a walk in the park. Now, a few points real quick. Number one, all FSX, the stock aircraft, support shared cockpit. You should be able to do shared cockpit in all the default planes, no problem. Number two, add-on aircraft. They may or may not support shared cockpit. All Carinado. Is it Carinado or Serenado? Um, I always call it Carinado. All Carinado aircraft support shared cockpit. I think that's one of their uh, build defaults, which is a good thing. Uh, the plane that we're going to be flying today is developed by Field Air and published by Wilco. It does not support shared cockpit, but we were able to get it to work. And the way you do that is both players must have the same uh, the same uh, flight simulator going. And in this case, we both have Steam. Uh, Steam won't work with Box. Box won't work with Steam. And if you have Boxed, if, you, if one has SP Service Pack 2, the other one doesn't, it's not going to work. Both simulator installs have to be identical or pretty much the same. And the add-on aircraft that you're going to use, both players need to have the same copy. In other words, if one player hacked the, the, the config, aircraft config file, it's going to cause problems. So both planes need to be the same. And then what you want to do is create a default flight. Both players set up the same flight, same weather. Well, it doesn't have to be the same scenery, but same scenery helps. Uh, same airport, same uh, ramp parking. And you configure the fuel to be exactly the same, number of passengers to be the same, number of uh, cargo and payload, all, ha all that has to be the same. And then you bring up the flight in your computers and set all the switches to the same position, including the parking brake, and then you save it. And then what you do is you do what we're going to do right now. I have my ports opened on my router. And the first thing I do is I go to multiplayer. And then sign in to Steam. Wow, Steam must be slow today. And in the case of multiplayer with Steam, you have to go through Steam to do multiplayer. With Boxed, you can uh, use a VPN or on the network. All right, so from this screen here, you click on Host a Session. And on this interface, click Make the Session Visible to Everyone and click on your local area network. If you check this box on the internet via Steam, then anyone on Steam could join your game, assuming they have the password. Next. Now here, you want to make sure you bring up the flight or the, 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 the flight that you created. In my case, I made it the default flight, so when it loads, it loads, by, it loads default. And we're at Pittsburgh. Um, let's see here, current location, Pittsburgh. I'm going to go ahead and change this. And it's on active runway. Let's go ahead and make it gate one, just for fun. Time, 2.15 is fine. Real weather updates, that's fine. Then click next. And here's where uh, it's important that you click share my aircraft and leave the password blank. That way the person who's going to join your cockpit, they'll see that the plane's available and they'll just hop right in. Click next. All right, on my end, I just signed into multiplayer under a LAN. All right. Under Steam. Okay, and I'm going to click, okay, I'm just going to stay right here and wait until you join the gaming room. Okay, I'm assuming your IP address has not changed. I'm not going to publicize it, though. My IP address has not changed. Okay, so I'm going to go connect directly. IP is already in, so we'll go find sessions, and it's doing trying to connect. It'll usually show that window twice before it actually connects. There we go. It is loading Jefferson Weather, and there it is. Flight Sim Guide 2014 and Bell Geode. And there you are right there. And I'm going to go ahead and click Fly Now. All right. And I am at the lobby, so I'm clicking OK. And I'm waiting for you to actually start up. So as soon as it starts counting the timer, indicating that you are actually in the sim, that's when I will join your aircraft. Of course, that could take forever because FSX is doing its thing today. You know, what's funny is I actually saw one of these liveries that we're going to fly 
uh, flying over my house not long ago. Mm. <sighs> All right, I am. I am. Let me see. Where, where the hell I am? Where am I? Okay, Which here. I, yeah. I'm at Pittsburgh. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to figure out where at Pittsburgh I am. Obviously, since we're multiplayer, it's just me and you, and we have the whole world to ourselves. There's a runway right behind us. We'll probably take off on that one. Uh, what gate are you at? I can tell you exactly. Where A1. You're at. Alpha A1. 1. Okay, so with you being on A1, the runway that is behind you is 28 right, 10 left. Stand which by. is perfectly fine. Uh, tw 28 right, you said? Yeah. 10 left, gate Alpha 1. Let me look on here. We are. Where is it? Apron. Right. We should be right over here somewhere. Yeah, well, Pittsburgh's airport is X-shaped, so you're pretty much um, at the... Yes, I see where we are. Yes, X. I see it. Okay. <sighs> All right, let me know when you're in. I'm loading right now. 6% loaded. Okay. So, so uh, essentially, that's how you do the shared cockpit. Now, what's going to happen is when he joins, uh, he'll see my aircraft available. He'll just go ahead and join, and he'll, he'll hop in. And we can transfer controls back and forth to each other using the Shift-T command. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop this track, which is OBS recording my screen, and then go to OBS recording the game, which I think will give a better, uh, better thing.